Someone started mowing their lawn. It's really weird. Anyway. Cool. Okay. All right. So this is one of the hard parts I had when I was editing because I wasn't sure how I wanted to represent the siren song in this situation. Did I want to tell a bit of her story? Did I want to have her say commands? Did I want her to just be like really alluring? Like what, what did I want to communicate with the song? Um, oh. Put that in. I 
think what's probably best. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. Good, 
Good job. Sometimes it's all you need to do to be a little finicky. I find even um, sometimes if you just deactivate it and reactivate it, like click click, it'll work again. It depends. It depends why it's turned off. Yeah. Nearly finished this scene. Uh, nearly at a thousand words. I have half an hour left in my allotted time. And as much as I want to just finish the scene and call it a day, I don't know if I should. Uh, partially because then this part will only be like 15 minutes long and that'd be kind of silly. <laughs> uh, for the VODs. But you know, do what you gotta do. Um, I did, yeah. I figure anything over, uh, anything over two hours, 15 minutes is acceptable in general. Uh, not everyone might share that opinion.
Cool. There's the first scene done. Off. Actually, what I might do here, you should work on the llamas, Ronnie. That is 100%. What I might do here is I might use the last few minutes of my time rather than going on to the next scene. Uh, like that's four of 18 pages. They're just that one scene. Well, five actually, part of five. Rather than moving on to the next scene, what I, what I will do here is I will actually uh, go through some of this analysis and see if I can maybe make this a little bit nicer. Get it, uh, push it a little bit further. problem is is I find that my style right now is a little boring it doesn't have it's missing little edges it's missing a little bit of oomph in uh, descriptions and stuff so I'm trying to work on that I'm feeling like this one will probably be fairly similar to my original style not that I don't want to push it, but mostly because I want to kind of have this as a baseline for everything else that we do on the stream of, you know, analyzing where, where we've improved, uh, where we're going, what we've been doing. So yeah, I'm kind of okay with it being decent, uh, but we'll see. We will see. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. I appreciate that. Are you just getting up? Or are you just that lazy? <laughs> Must have missed you in the mods because I I don't remember seeing you. But I also forgot that you were a mod, so you know that happens. Yeah, pretty much.
I'm just going to cut this. I don't like it. Yeah, that's better. I'm good, I do my thing. Okay. Sure thing, Ronnie. Sure thing. So true. So true. There we go, that's better. That makes so much more sense. I can't, I can't work with music on the rub. I just, I can't do it. I get too distracted. So it becomes even more dead air. <laughs> um, oh, there was definitely music when I took the breaks. There should have been. But yeah. Yeah, but I kind of like the idea that if you want to listen to music, you can just listen to your own music. Like, open up your Spotify and have some stuff playing in the background if you want. And I'm not nearly the only streamer who does this. Uh, I watch Kenji, uh, I guess Shira a little bit. Um, he's a Magic the Gathering streamer. And he doesn't play music anymore. He used to a lot. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't play any music at all anymore though. And I kind of like it. I don't need music all the time. It's one of those things that we've kind of been conditioned to have because of, well, Twitch in general, but also because of the way that films are. How, how we've gotten used to film soundtracks and the way that those work. Uh, but yeah. No, I, I much prefer not having to deal with with the, the music thing. It's much easier.
<laughs> There's a lot of copyright weirdness with it as well, especially posting to YouTube the VODs to YouTube. It gets really, really messed up. Yeah. I don't know. There won't be music. I might need to do some more audio work. I wouldn't be surprised. There's always some weird white noise in the background. But yeah, I don't know, whatever. If you want to fix my microb, then you can. I'm okay with that. Problem is, a lot of the rap I like isn't in English. But yeah, I also don't like having uh, a lot of copyrighted music on the stream because it it messes up the vods like a ton with the mutes and stuff. Nah, I'm good. I think it would be really awesome to have a live band providing background music for you. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, place is all wrong because it feels decaying and rotten. But I agree with you that that phrase seems odd, so I'm looking at it. Uh, hmm. It's something that I haven't referenced yet, but I think I really do need to, so I'm going to make a note of it uh, on my sheet here, where I want this to be the place, I want this house to be Darius' house, uh, this house to be Darius's house, and I want this to be the place where we first summon the demon.
But there's no actual reference to that in the story. So I wanted to feel off, to feel weird, to feel gross, you know, where the, the demonic energy throws off magical beings. But in a certain sense, also serves to hide them. It's much harder to detect their presence of sorts. That makes sense. I, hope, I think that makes sense. Should make sense. Uh, wedge is not the right term here. Some weird repetition and stuff in this paragraph that I don't like. draft. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. What words, Drani? What words?
don't like this word use of the word back here. I don't like it. Oh, it's scabbard. The scabbard is uh, the sheath for a sword. Johnny's not a na native English speaker, Rob. So she gets a little leeway with stuff like that. Fun of you. I was trying to be helpful so other people wouldn't make fun of you. Troll me. Troll me for being nice. Sleepy or Mexican, so just ignore him. He is—he is quite a troll, though. Kappa. I am good. How are you, Biomana? Made, we made good progress. Good progress. Ugh. I know, right? I know.
Maybe it's just something about creative types who are my friend or something. <laughs> All right. Well, it's just about three o'clock. Delete these for now. Uh, so that's going to be it for me. Um, but I will be back next Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, to continue working on this story. It's getting there. It's really close. I want to finish it so that we can start working on some other projects. So I'm going to spend at least the next two episodes doing this. After that, if it's not done, then maybe we'll do... Uh, a new project for a couple a couple episodes and then come back but yeah <laughs> it is what it is we'll we'll make those decisions as as we come to them so without further ado uh my name is brendan this is accidental origin your weekly writing web show uh that's it for me this week uh thanks to all of you for calling for, for calling for coming uh, and hanging out with me as always, uh, you can follow me on Twitter, and you can check out the VODs on the website, uh, as well as supplementary materials, links, and fun stuff. So yeah, um, see you all next week. Just waiting for that thing to tick over. Just waiting. Awkwardly waiting. Okay, three o'clock.